How much this week? We're at Kenny's. Back to you, Kenny. I've noticed I put some photos up of the, the pools of Babylon. There's now, I think, 20, 25, including huge what? buckets of water here on the deck. I, I know that uh, we've, got, we've got a water shortage in Brisbane, what haven't we? What relevance has this got to a cigar review other than trying to bag me? What are our dams at currently, Kit? Well, 96%. Hey, I'm just trying to help the environment. I'm doing my little bit. I've moved from... Uh, he did his slippers, which I'll put a photo up in a second. <laughs> he's, he's, it's for, as he said, it's the coldest house in Brisbane. Yeah, it is. It, it is. I've gone from early crime scene to hostage chic. Um, <laughs> the Magnum 50 uh, MOA from um, November 09. No, December 09. MOA December 09. And I want to review these because these have fallen off the radar a fair bit. And I've just noticed the... Sales are down. Not that, Ken, because we sell a fair few of these, but the box codes that you're getting through are still 09s and early 10s, and that is a problem when it comes to sales. Um, because you're starting, you always can tell which cigars are slow ah, to move. Okay. Mm -hmm. But you know what happens when Habano sees slow box sales? That's it, there oh, <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Look, it's a communist country. They are working towards one cigar for all. <laughs> and knowing they're like, they'll make it a guava. That's <laughs> it. Guava salamones for everyone from now on. Nothing but. And to all my friends at HSA, you've all left. <laughs> <laughs> well, and to the that? rest of you, I look forward to catching up with you later in November. Could get you to send us a list of visiting days? <laughs> Look, it's a beautiful looking cigar, isn't it? It is, it is. It's a classic PE cigar, as we call it. This is our PE range, which is, I think, just beautiful. Lovely oil on the wrapper. You draw? Well, just because you use your fingernails. Oh, look at that, it's perfect. Perfect. It's on one side, It's my, it looks look, like it some looks sort of perfect. ragged tooth. It's perfect. For oh. God's sake, I'll take a photo of this with a crack. Okay, we'll put them next to each other. Actually, mine's better. That's How is good. that better? That, is, that's absolutely... that looks like a wound. Okay. <laughs> Draw? Fine. Fine. Draw's fine. We've got everything else is fine. They are We're ready to go. Baseball bat stuff, aren't they? Yeah, they, they are. That's right. Quickly, just ten initial thoughts. Lovely. Um, like a milky or oh, creamy coffee sort of character. Not strong, not strong flavours at all. Under under midway, I would have Just thought. under medium? Yeah. Just under medium. But you're right, just beautiful milk coffee, mm. isn't it? Spot Let's on. see how this evolves, because this has been I think it's one of the first cigars that you got stone fruit out of throughout the course of it. Ah, okay. So, well, I always was stone fruit to me. I go right back to the early days of the SLR DCs. There was yeah. stone fruit coming out the wazoo. The wazoo, gentlemen. That's, that's, a, that's, technical that's term. a technical term. Absolutely. That you're coming out of. Mm. You're back at the end of the first third. First third. Kent, it is getting a little bit full. Just a touch yeah, it's, full. It's, it's the evolution does not much evolution, but it has picked up in in weight, I guess, a tiny bit. But you're still getting those same coffee cream yeah, flavours with same. just just an element of fruit in there. But it's also got some of those young characters that are coming out a bit more now than they did at the start. Thoroughly enjoyable cigar. Yeah, it's thoroughly enjoyable, but I'm just I, I am getting that just touch of green grape through there. Probably wrong, but that's what I'm getting. Can't the, comment on it. You can't comment on it. But well, still, that milk coffee. That uh, milk coffee yeah. is certainly there. We've been talking our way through this. The mm -hmm. cigar's been performing flawlessly. We've, we have solved Australian rugby. Australian rugby, again. Second, third, Kenny. Do you see any any similarities to the Sir Winston on this? Is there a DNA intertwining? You should have asked me that earlier so I got back to you how to think about it. Because That's why I asked you now. Springing it on me now, um, you're going to get a, a more trite response than you may have otherwise. Um, not really, I don't think. Give some shortbread notes. Look, I suspect power of suggestion you could you could probably pick up a little bit, yeah. Forgive me for power of suggestion. No, 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 I'm not, I'm not no, being, no, no, no. I mean, uh, it wasn't something that I was thinking I was seeing before, but or now. Um. <laughs> <laughs> what do you see? I look because it's now medium. Yeah, just the, the, this has had this has had look a lovely cigar. But we talk about the complexity and the evolution. There hasn't been much in there. How this much? has not changed much at all. It's it's How what it, it started. It's gone right through, and it's been lovely, and I thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, but at this stage, it's not. You're not suddenly finding something new kick in. And give me three flavours. You're certainly getting that. Still getting that. A very light, creamy coffee character. Yeah. Not so much shortbread to me, but maybe a slight bready, bready character. Bready character yeah, to it. Slight bread character. I'm getting the coffee cream. Again. I'm getting shortbread, coffee cream. There's no fruit in it. I don't. I don't see the fruit no. uh, coming through. No. Maybe just a very 
hinted nuts or something, but not much. It's a maybe a little bit of almond, yeah. maybe a little bit of almond. It's a pretty almond. simple cigar, but it's a lovely cigar. Yeah, I'm enjoying it. I'd maybe. have no problem smoking these on a regular basis like this, but yeah. they're never going to sort of. Yours is still like medium. Under medium. It's medium at best. Through the nose is bugger all through it. The burn, the construction, the draw, it was all been gorgeous. absolutely spot gorgeous. on. It's so different to the Magnum 46, which is a far more, for use of a better term, brittle cigar, uh, fuller bodied. This is um, certainly a lighter, lighter in body, but just, I, I see that lineal nature to the Upman Sir Winston. I don't think it's got the same class as the no. Upman Sir Winston, but I can see, you know, it's Upman. At the end of the day, this is Upman. I, I, had a, I had a great email this morning from uh, from Wes. Um, he was just smoking a Partagas 898. I think it was from 10, if I remember correctly. 10, 09, 10. And he said he's had three from the box. It was a HQ box from back then. And and he goes, it's just one of those classically beautiful, rich. It just takes us a complete journey. And see, often smoking Cuban cigars is like that golf shot, that perfect golf shot. You could be a hacker. You can be an absolute hacker. But you occasionally get that fantastic golf shot that is just, you could be, you could just be a pro, the way you hit it. And he goes, this cigar was just a, com just that, like your view, it was just brilliant in the complexity of it. And really only Cuban cigars can bring that to the table that I've experienced. Last third, Kenny. Last third, I'm down to the nub. You're down to the nub. This is a fascinating cigar to me because the last third has been a, a completely different cigar. Um, you love evolution. First, first two thirds, as we we said, you know, very enjoyable, nice, but there was no evolution whatsoever. Normally, for a fairly young cigar, you'd expect the last third to come down rather than go up. This is just step right up. There's caramel, there's nuts, there's and the caramel and the nuts is what, what really brings us to the fore. And it wasn't there at all. I mean, maybe you could get a little bit of caramel in the first. It, bit. it, it hinted at yeah. it, but this is now just lashing. It's off. just whooshka. This is just. Unbelievable, this last third. It really is quite extraordinary. Um, yeah, and you can never guess where a cigar is going to evolve, and you hope that the first or the second third at least would actually evolve into this. But if it did, can I tell you guys, you're talking about a 95, 96 cigar. Right now, I'd still put this about 89, 90. Oh, God. Seriously? You lousy bugger. Well, this no. is 92. 92 oh, plus for me. 89, 90, it is just 92, and I'm a Grinch. Christ, I'm like, Ken. Well, you know, um, that's a big difference. It's a 89 great. to me is a, is, a, is a perfectly okay, pleasant, enjoyable cigar. And I think the first two thirds were an 89, 90. This last third's just kicked it right up. It's gorgeous though, isn't it? I don't this want to be seen as being negative. Which, which you've, been, oh, you've been accused of being negative Apparently. In, the past, in the past. I but, have your um, address. 90, 90, 91, 92 for you? As opposed to what I said, 92, 93. 1993, I go. What are you, a I'll politician? Words and mouth? I'll tell you what, I don't know. But the last I just, third I just is love this glorious. last third. Absolutely. And, and for, that's, that was a big cigar. Yeah. I just want to go and have another one straight away. And that to me is always a, a great sign for a cigar. If you haven't got them in your rotation, get some in because they're going to have a little bit of age on them. And um, compare it to our review. But I think you'd be impressed. I'll, I am. Yeah, yeah, I'm so really am. So am I. I'm glad because the last review of, the, of these was 2009. Brilliant. I'm about to get scars on the finger from this one. Until next week. Until this weekend, guys, we'll be in uh, at the Sydney. Actually, Kenny, you won't make it, but uh, we're in the Sydney um, um, Shindig on Saturday afternoon. I'll be bringing cigars. Looking forward to it. So uh, I'll see you guys there. Um, I also want to ask Smithy a question. Smithy, seriously. What are you, a graphic designer or some weird Industrial. Thing? Industrial designer. Seriously. Smith, you can't see it on this, but Smithy has... <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, Smithy's uh, going, I've got to edit this. I've no, he's not. What, so, we'll be back to you once we get through the first couple of millimetres. Looking forward to it. I had a Hoyer the other night. I've lost something here. The, this thing? No, the other one, the remote. So, that wasn't on? Yeah, it is on. It is on. I don't know, that's stupid. You sure? Sounds on? Oh, fuck. <laughs> Is it still uh, on? Why? Why in God's name do I have a bucket <laughs> at my feet? Why do I have to work with a bucket?
fuck's sake? Honestly? Oh, what? <laughs> we'll be back to you shortly. <laughs> Gotta hope this works.